This bike is from a new company we haven't worked with before. Hi everyone, hope you're well. We've got another bike to play with. This one's from PVY and it's a folding full suspension bank. So we're hoping this will fit in the camper van nice and easy. But as usual, this one's not going to be any use whatsoever. Hey Rosie, shall we cue the time lapse? Shall we cue the time lapse and put it together? Comes very well packaged. And again, I'll only use a pair of scissors to cut all the tire wraps and the tools that it comes with. Like it's got a phone mount there and that will be the tools and probably the charger as well the noise you can hear in the background apart from the wind is Rosie eating biscuits oh yeah the other side of the room Louis pinching Rosie's dinner he's just been spotted and feels guilty the box you get a pair of pedals they're not folding pedals surprising with it being a folding bike you get the control unit, instruction book, front light, some screws, probably for the mud guards and the lights, a UK charging lead with the charging brick, a spanner set, and we've had a look at that and that's a phone holder just to go on the handlebars. It's a good instruction book. Step-by-step -step instructions and then actually photographs of the assembly, which is useful. But these are very similar to put together. And there's the other information we always need, all the instructions about the control unit. Right, let's get the time lapse going and get it together. Look at the size of that seat. <laughs> That's gotta be the biggest seat I've seen on a bike for a long time. Looks super comfy, well padded and big springs. The wheels are impressive, quite chunky tyres, 20 inch wheels, spoke, all black, the rims are aluminium and the 4 inches wide. The seat stem's not attached and the handlebar's not attached, so it's a case of putting the front wood guard in, which is metal. That's the front wood guard. And seat, pedals wheel, mudguard, handlebars. Oh, and the control unit and the light. It was a little confusing, and I haven't seen this before. A quick release clamp on the handlebars. So when it had been packed, these had been folded right down. And it was peculiar how to actually fit it in, because there's a a channel in here that needs to go into this stem and the, the hinge on here to enable the bike to fold over needs to be on the side so it takes a bit of messing about to line everything up but if you put this stem in first don't tighten it too tight you can line it up where you want your handlebars slide your handlebars in and line everything else and then tighten it all up People are a bit concerned because I've had some comments about fitting the disc brake in but you do really just need to line it up to make sure the disc brake fits in the caliper and I take off the nuts completely fit it in the caliper and then line everything up put the nuts back on There's a little bit of banding on the brake there, but that will soon 
we can adjust that and the way to adjust this is to loosen these allen keys on the top pull the brake on tight with it loose then tighten it up before you release the brake but that's only cap if you can hear now it's free enough already so I won't adjust that it'll just wear itself in in no time as soon as I've done less than a mile on that it'll be worn in in fact now I've tightened the wheel nuts up it's pulled it across it's not catching at all another thing people struggle with is fitting pedals because one of them's a left hand thread but most now say left and it gives you an arrow which way to tighten it as well and on the end of these that one's got an half a right and this one's a left one so this one goes in here and wants to be tightened that way identified by the arrow you can do it by hand first of all and then just nip it up with a spanner once it's completely in and exactly the same on the other side don't if it doesn't go in don't force it because you might have put the wrong pedal on the wrong side and just a little nip like that and the same on the other side this is a uk bike so we've got a 250 watt motor on it um and the last thing i need to do is just fit the control unit which just fits on the angle bars like so this does have a throttle on it but as this is a uk bike we just won't connect that throttle connector so it's there we'll just leave those disconnected so this will just give you pedal assist with the amount, right amount of power for the uk usage so there we have it all together it did take a little longer than usual to put together mainly because the handlebar stem wasn't in the control unit wasn't in i dropped that bracket and couldn't find it which all added to it but i still managed to put it all together without looking at the instructions and i only used the tools that it come with and uh, it's pretty impressive it's uh, it's well sturdy i like the thick chunky tires the tire seems to be a bit more knobbly than some of the others i've seen but um, we just need the weather to improve and we'll get outside and give it a road test and have a look at it in more detail and have a look at some of the features. I better put it on charge now, aren't I? Look at the size of that seat. There's loads of room on it as well. Look at this. So if you're 14 foot tall, these go up as well. <laughs> So if you ever want to ride a bike in a circus so or you're about 14 foot tall, you'd be fine on this one. And then likewise, you go all the way down as well. So if you, uh, if you need a little of the bike, plenty of room. So plenty of scope for all different sizes. So the PVY 220 Plus. So let's get it outside and have a play. This bike is from a new company we haven't worked with before. And it's got rear suspension, a swinging arm on the back, a rack, metal mud guards, front and back, front and back lights. It's a folding bike. It's a UK legal one. The back light's a brake light. Shimano gears again, like most of these have, with the same old shift on the top. Has a throttle on this one, but it's disconnected cable disc brakes and if you've seen my videos before you'll know I'm quite happy with cable disc brakes on these mainly because if they go wrong you can fix them the lights are working off the main battery front shocks that are lockable there's the cable discs reflector no folding pedals on this one which is a surprise but it does have a stand and it's got the biggest seat we've had on an e-bike so far Armchair. Were you bum fit on that, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> so Joe's going to take it for a spin and see how she gets on. Go on then, go for a whiz.
that's some really chunky tires on that i think there must be five inches something we'll measure them when we get back 20 inch rims and as well as the front and back suspension obviously this one's not adjustable you get the suspension out the tires as well into your maximum psi in those is only about 20 psi front and back forks are switchable aluminium frame again around 30 kilograms but i'll put all the weights and suspects underneath the video and the links to the website but it also has indicators you put the indicators on joe <laughs> i don't know if you'd ever use them but they're there <laughs> you could fit those to a custom motorbike <laughs> just to get around the law no indicators on the front folding front bars and the center split and again you can charge this one in the frame through that plug there where you can take the battery out and take it into the house it does have a key and the key fits under here and you need the key in to switch it on to get your power and to ride it but they're supposed to be a safety device some people don't like them messing about with the key but it's an added advantage for safety even if somebody nicks the bike they'll have to mess about trying to get a key to fit it or wire it in somewhere where you could use it with power so that just disconnects the power off the bike you never get the cables neat on a folding bike like this because obviously the handlebars have to fall over and with the handlebars folding over you need the cables free so on all folding bikes of this type they tend to be out like this but we'll take it back to Whippet HQ and we'll take the battery out and fold it up and do the measurements but this is another bike that would fit in your camper van all that idea that we had before is if you live in a city and you want to get to the countryside to go for a bike ride you don't have to mess about with bike racks this will fold up put him back in your car take it to the countryside and come for a nice ride like it is here these are all bridleways around here and on a bridle where you're allowed to ride a, a push bike or a uh, road legal uk e-bike back at whippet hq and it's just about to start to rip so i'll be quick so there's a clamp on the side here which falls down and then on this side <clears throat> there's another clip on there and this falls the other way i'm sure you stand out the way So they're the clips. This one has a little thing that slots in there to stop it coming undone, but they're quite stiff. You're not going to knock that out accidentally. And the one in the side has a little clip on the side there. Well, let's have a look at the measurements of it folded up. Drop the seat down. Width-wise. I would say with the pedals, it's about 22 inches wide lengthwise it's about tiring 36 37 inches long and i'd say it's about 31 inches high as well so that would probably fit in the most garages of camper vans and motor rooms and definitely fit in back of a state car you can buy folding pedals, which should take a few. That's how big are them? So they're four inches. So you take another two inches off with folding pedals on there. The key that's in the bottom, which you need to switch it on, also acts as a lock for the battery. And there's a lever in there. Oh, there we go. Then you can pull the battery out. You need to take the key out. There we go. So you can take the battery in house as well to charge and if you wanted to you could get a spare battery so you could have two batteries and there's the lock in the bottom look so it's locked in position on and off and the charging ports on the side it's a little hole in the side with a plug in it to enable you to charge it when it's in the bike I 
the slides back in there. And with all my junking, I can still get that in back of there. Can't get it upright, but that's the compromise of having a cross bed. I don't want the bed too high. But it still fits in, I could strap that down. Be absolutely fine. And it'd easy fit in a car as well. So there you have it, the PVY 220 Plus. And this is a UK legal bike, but you can unlock additional power if you want me to. It does have a throttle, but it's disconnected and you can connect that. So if you live in a country where the rules are different, that's the horn, um, you can do that. Or if you want to use it on private land, you can disconnect it and do that. And it's switchable, so you can switch it backwards and forwards if need be. Particular things I like about this, I like the long wood guards, particularly this time of the year. Um, easy to assemble, assemble wasn't a major problem. Took a little bit longer because there was a few more parts to put on, but still straightforward. The only thing I would change on it, with it being a folding bike, and we've mentioned it a few times, I'd change the pedals for folding pedals. But apart from that, very pleased with it. Had some good fun on it, even in winter. <laughs> you won't believe how long it's taken us to do this video due to the weather. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Check the description below for all the information. There's a link to the website and the discount codes. The information I've put in this is off their website. So there may be some offers on at this time. So do check below. And I do update those. So if you're watching this a year on, if they send me some more information, I update the uh, information in the description box for additional offers or more information about them. But thanks again for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully when the weather's a bit better.